Alright, so welcome to How To Dino. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of Dino's new features. This includes the popular Starboard module. Premium also has new looks, but I cover this in my premium showcase video. So take a look at that. I will link a card up above. Automod now supports stickers. Automod can also auto ban and instant mute for all the other filter options. And then in case you missed it, reaction roles was added. I actually have a video up on this. So if you'd like to learn more about reaction roles, check out that video. Auto punish is also a new little feature. I believe it's part of the moderation settings. And I will also go ahead and link a card for this. And then for those of you that missed it, Dino regular actually supports the message embedder module. So you can send embedded messages using Dino regular. So I will go ahead and uh, make a video on that maybe sometime next week. My focus for today will be on starboard. I will go over the uh, new auto mod stuff. You can figure the starboard module. Head over to the Dinobot website, dino.gg. Click the manage service button and then click on the server you like to manage. Head over to modules, find starboard. Please make sure the module is enabled. If you don't know what starboard is, it allows your members to highlight the best messages into a channel by reacting. So our custom emoji for starboard is a star. If you'd like to change this, you will have to buy Dino Premium. Now, in order to get a message sent to the Starboard channel, you do have to set a star count. The default is set to three. So once a message reaches three reactions, it will be sent to the Starboard channel for all to see. If you want to update that threshold, simply click on the arrow keys or enter your number manually. So the maximum for this is 50. So I cannot go higher. And then once you're done, just click on update. I'm actually going to lower the threshold. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and lower this to one just so I can demonstrate the module for you later on. Once you're done, click on update. Now there's a few options here. We can either ignore self stars. So the message author will not be able to star their own message. Or if they do, Dino will just completely ignore it. Other users would have to come in and star the message in order for the threshold to be reached. And then you also have the react to starboard. So what this will do is add a reaction to the actual embedded post in the starboard channel for members to react to the message there. Now to get started, we have to set a starboard channel. You can go ahead and create a channel named starboard, but it really doesn't matter. So for this, I'm just going to have Dino send it to my welcome channel. So whenever you set a ignored role, anyone that has that role will not get their post sent to the starboard. Dino is pretty much just going to ignore it. And then you also have ignored channels. Um, your post won't get sent to the actual starboard channel if you set an ignored channel. So for now, I'm going to leave those blank because I don't want to ignore any channels or roles. And then premium users can actually set a custom inbed color. Uh, regular Dino users cannot, unfortunately. Blue is a pretty standard color uh, within Dino, so it's not that big of a deal. Now up here, we can also set custom thresholds. So what this will do is uh, allow you to set custom thresholds for specific channels. So over here in the main settings, we set a threshold for the server as a whole. But you can come into this tab up here and, and set specific thresholds for a specific channel. For general, for example, I can have, I'm just gonna set it to one, just because I only have like one other user in my test server. So I'll just set this to one and then you just hit add. So for general, the threshold will be one. It's no different from the, the main thing. So I can add a threshold there and I can also remove it. I'm just gonna remove it for the time being because I don't need to set any custom thresholds since I have the server wide threshold set to one. And then we can also set secret starboards which will actually just send uh, starboards to a private channel if you so please. So say if I wanna send starboards to my logs channel, which is private, uh, you'd be able to select that channel and then select channels that are allowed to send those highlighted messages to the starboard channel. Now this is a premium feature as well. So regular Dino users won't be able to use this feature. But other than that, this is a pretty solid module. Uh, once again, if you do want to uh, have access to all of these features, I recommend upgrading to premium. Now, since we have our Starboard channel set, everything is pretty much done here. All we have to do is head over to Discord and test out the module. But before I do that, I would like to highlight some of the new auto mod settings. You can have Dino moderate uh, for Zalgo text now. Also, another thing added is the 
instant mute and auto ban uh, options for your filters. This isn't supported with all of the filter options. Now the new things added within this update were the stickers for the new sticker options. So we have stickers in general. So this will just delete stickers. Uh, so you can have dino delete, warn, auto mute when a sticker is detected. And then we also have sticker spam. This is when multiple stickers are set within 10 seconds. So those are the two new uh, sticker functions added to AutoMod. And then along with the uh, two new options. So now let's head over to Discord to test out our starboard. Okay, so here we are in Discord. To get started, if you guys remember, I did set my starboard channel to be the welcome channel. So all of the highlighted posts will get sent to welcome. To get started, since I have the ignore uh, message author uh, option enabled, adding this reaction won't do anything. I, I won't get my message sent. But um, if another user were to go ahead and react to this message, which I'm going to do now, simply just search star in your reactions. Or if, you, if you've if you recently used it, just click on it. All I have to do is click on it. So now I have the one reaction that I need to get my message sent to Starbird. Again, this is my specific threshold that I set. I set it to one. So once I reach one reaction from a different user that isn't me, I will get my message sent to Starbird. And here it is. So it gives me my account, the channel it came from. Then here I can also react to the message again. And we can also click to jump to the message, which is also pretty cool. So there's Starbird for you. Pretty fun module. And actually a big, uh, big plus one to the people working on Dino. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but uptime has, seems to have been improved. And we've been getting a ton of new features recently. Uh, so this is definitely a big plus and I am enjoying the direction Dino is heading in. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.